Hello. En el programa de hoy, continuamos en la carretera. ¿Recuerdas que Alex y Jeff tenían problemas con el coche? Hoy vamos a averiguar cómo se las arreglaron. Y cuando termine el programa... Podrás hablar por teléfono con los servicios de ayuda en carretera. ¿Sabrás describir el programa? Y podrás dar detalles sobre el coche y sobre dónde, dónde te encuentras. Aprenderás también a decir cuánto tiempo has estado en un lugar determinado. Muy importante, cuando quieres que los servicios de ayuda en carretera se den prisa. Y mientras ves el episodio, piensa en esta pregunta. Where are Alice and Jeff exactly? ¿Dónde están exactamente Alice y Jeff? Hello. Hello, Quickie Breakdowns. How can I help you? Yes, I've broken down. What's the problem? I don't know. The car just stopped. Has this happened before? No, we haven't had this problem before. of our breakdown service? Yes, I'm a member. What's your membership number? What make is your car? It's a Volvo. What colour is it? It's blue. Dark blue. What's the registration number? A51OBH. And where is the car? It's at the side of the road. Which road? The A606. Where are you exactly? We are... <sighs> between Oxford and Birmingham. How long before the mechanic arrives? The mechanic will be there soon. Alice, have you done this before? No. Oh my god, this is terrible. Ow. Estoy de acuerdo con Jeff. Es terrible. Bueno, estoy segura de que Alice se las arreglará. Pero te habíamos hecho una pregunta. ¿Dónde estaban Alice y Jeff? Fíjate en cómo formula la pregunta la telefonista. Where are you exactly? It's at the side of the road. Which road? The A606. Where are you exactly? Between Oxford and Birmingham. Jeff dio tres detalles sobre su situación. It's at the side of the road. The A606. Between Oxford and Birmingham. How can I help you? Yes, I've broken down. He tenido una avería. I've broken down. Has this happened before? ¿Le ha sucedido esto antes? Has this happened before? No, we haven't had this problem before. No, no hemos tenido este problema antes. No, we haven't had this problem before. Por supuesto, es muy importante que sepas dar a los servicios de ayuda en carretera detalles concretos sobre el coche. The make, la marca. 
the registration number, el número de matrícula, the color, el color. Completemos las características del coche de Alice y Jeff. It's a Volvo. The registration number is A51OBH. And the color is blue, dark blue. What make is your car? It's a Volvo. What color is it? It's blue, dark blue. What's the registration number? A51OBH. Y ahora, una canción. Se titula The Breakdown Blues, que significa Los Blues de la Avería. Help me, help me, the car won't move. Oh, I've got the breakdown blues. What's the problem? What make is your car? What color is it? Stay where you are. We'll send a mechanic, he won't be long. And while you're waiting, sing this song. Oh, help me, help me, the car won't move. Oh, I've got the breakdown blues. How long before the mechanic arrives? When he might be there at five to five. Please operator, it's getting late. When he might be there at half past eight. Oh, help me, help me, the car won't move. Oh, I've got the breakdown blues. ¿Por qué siempre que tienes una avería hay que esperar siglos hasta que llega el mecánico? ¿Quién sabe? Pero la verdad es que a mí me pasa exactamente lo mismo. Esto es precisamente lo que le sucede a Jeff y Alice. Veamos otra vez el episodio y te darás cuenta de que al final tuvieron que esperar un buen rato. Mientras ves el programa, piensa en esta pregunta. How many hours have Alice and Jeff been there? ¿Cuántas horas han estado allí Alice y Jeff? How many hours have Alice and Jeff been there? Are you a member of our breakdown service? Yes, I'm a member. What's your membership number? What make is your car? It's a Volvo. What colour is it? It's blue. Dark blue. What's the registration number? A51 OBH. And where is the car? It's at the side of the road. Which road? The A606. Where are you exactly? We are... Between Oxford and Birmingham. How long before the mechanic arrives? The mechanic will be there soon. Alice, have you done this before? No. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Ow. Oh. We've been here since three o'clock. The mechanic won't be long. We've been here for two hours. For two hours? Yes, since three o'clock. Where is the mechanic? He won't be long. How long? He'll be there in about half an hour. Half an hour? I'm sorry. We're very busy at the moment. Thank you. 
¿Te parece que Alex olvidó a Drede, el equipo de pesca de Jeff? Por supuesto. Después de todo, Jeff dijo que no quería ir de pesca, ¿no? En fin, ¿qué pasa con nuestra pregunta? How many hours have Alice and Jeff been there? We've been here for two hours. Hemos estado aquí dos horas. Pero Jeff expresó el periodo de tiempo que habían estado esperando de dos formas distintas. We've been here since three o'clock. The mechanic won't be long. We've been here for two hours. We've been here since three o'clock. Hemos estado aquí desde las tres. We've been here for two hours. Hemos estado aquí dos horas. Since significa desde y se usa para expresar el momento exacto en que algo comenzó, la fecha, la hora o el día. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos. Imagínate a varias personas viajando por Gran Bretaña. Han estado en diferentes lugares. Vamos a preguntar, How long have they been there? Intenta responder. She arrived in London at two o'clock. It's now five o'clock. How long has she been in London? She's been in London since two o'clock. Y se utiliza for con palabras que expresan duración, tales como She's been in London for three hours. He arrived in London at half past six. It's now half past ten. How long has he been in London? He's been in London since half past six. He's been in London for four hours. Ahora escucha a estas personas hablando de cuánto tiempo han vivido en Londres. How long have you lived here? I've lived here for 15 years. I've lived here for a year. I've lived here for three years. I've lived here since 1977. I've lived here all my life. Y esto es todo por hoy. El próximo programa es el último del módulo. So, it's a good time to start looking at some of the things you've learned. Remember, use your English as much as you can. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon.